Hi, I'm Sophie, again. I work on Hackaday.io and the Hackaday Prize. To adjust this a little bit. Since our last super conference in November, just about a year ago, this community, all of us together, we've built a ton of projects. We've met all over the world in different meetups, which has been really fun. And we've pushed a lot of creative boundaries. There's been some really amazing things happening on Hackaday.io this year. When you have a community with as many crazy ideas and ambition as this one, uh, it's really not that surprising. So just a little bit about where we are. We, were, we started just about two years ago, and we have 178,000 members. It's like huge. Just over 12,500 projects are on the site, and just over 10% of them are collaborative projects, which mean more than one of you are working on them at a, at a time. And it's our goal to make this the site for collaboration and for you to meet your project soulmates on the site. So we look like we're well on our way to that. So I'm just going to do a little year in review of all the things that we've done as Hackaday crew and with all of you. So we kicked off this year by getting ready for the Hackaday Prize. We drove out to a super secret location out in the desert. And we, we filmed the Hackaday Prize video, which we'll be playing later. I wanted to use this opportunity to point out a few of our crew who you can go to for help. So Michael Guilfoyle, raise your hand back there. That was the director of the movie. Stars of the movie, I know Amr is here somewhere. Amr, Nusha in the front row, JK, who I haven't seen today. And me, Brian, uh, Brian Benchoff, and Mike Stish, we had a two second cameo in the movie. So World Create Day was set up in response to, we started the Hackaday Prize, and we set this up because so many people were emailing and asking us, like, how do I get an idea? What should I do? I can't think of anything. So we put out a call to hackerspaces and makerspaces and just generally put it out and said, um, let's all build something together on the same day. And we did it in a hurry because we don't ever plan anything very far in advance, and we were blown away. About 80 different locations responded. So this is our map, and if any of you are here or watching the stream later from South America, clearly we need more of you, so represent next year, please. And I see we're missing uh, Greenland and Russia, and there's some other countries that hopefully will hit in the next year. But something to brag about there is that in that first round, there were 555 projects submitted, so we had the magic number. And for people who engaged with the project by giving likes and other kinds of you know, happy thoughts, we sent them Benchoff bucks, which some of you got when you came in. So all of this worldwide activity, it led to some semi-permanent meetups that we've been doing all year. So we have the Hackaday New York City meetup and that we just started a couple months ago and that's run by Shana. Shana's here, New York City community manager. Raise your hand a little higher. We run monthly meetups in the design lab here in Pasadena, and that's run by Dan Hinch, who is there. <laughs> Any questions about the design lab um, today should be directed towards him, because he's running that room. And that meetup is also organized by Shuli Tornell, who's our community leader here in Pasadena. I don't know if she, no. Shuli's up front. So we also have a meetup every few months in Lagos, Nigeria. So that's pretty cool. They send us pictures of the meetups after they do them. We've also had a couple of on and off meetups in Texas, both in Austin and in Dallas. And so Mike Stish is pictured here in the bottom. Uh, Mike? And uh, this is a picture from a screen printing meetup where we printed over 100 t-shirts. 
So we went to Belgrade in April and did a hardware conference, not the Supercon, but another hardware conference. And we went to Belgrade because Supply Frame has an, an office in Belgrade. So we've got some crew here from Serbia, from Belgrade. So Dule? Making coffee. Making coffee. OK. And Marco are here from Belgrade. And Voya Antonich. We launched a jobs board on Hackaday.io, which of course is super popular. So if you want to post a job or get a new job, it's all kinds of jobs that are interesting to all of us. It's project number 8563. Hacker Channel is another popular place to hang out. It's just a chat room, kind of get help on your projects, hang out with other people kind of place. So I actually have seen a lot of you today or met some of you this morning who hang out in there. So anyone that has chatted with me or any of our crew online, please come and introduce yourselves so that we you know, can put a face to the name. Traveling Hacker Box is an extremely weirdly popular project. This is a magical box that travels around via the, by airmail, picking up pieces of electronics from people. There's just one box. We're not allowed to have more than one box. This is run by Brian Benchoff. There are very strict rules about this project. One box, bunch of electronics. You get to take stuff out, build something, take pictures, put stuff back in. The box is here. So anyone who wants to put stuff in, it's going to Europe, I think, next. We opened the design lab in May. And we had four groups of residents. And they were all making pretty big projects. And all of these projects are on Hackaday.io. If you're interested in doing a residency, getting us to help you design your product, or doing a community event in the design lab, you can talk to me, Dan, Michael Guilfoyle, or Alec, who's in the back. So this is just a screenshot of my email. <laughs> so. <laughs> This is how we know we're getting big and popular, because we're getting spammers. So shout out to all of the community members who are here who, who are reporting all this stuff and helping us to keep the site free of spam. This, many of the images that are in this, in this slideshow are done by Joe Kim who is our art director at Supply Frame. I don't, Joe, are you here? So this is one of my favorite images from one of the rounds of the Hackaday Prize. I think it was the third round. It was uh, pretty interesting because we asked, we challenged all of you to come up with citizen science type projects. So we got microscopes, battery technologies, EEG. I mean, you get the idea. It was pretty interesting and also pretty difficult to judge because we didn't know necessarily what the thing was, and we had to do research to figure it out. We went to the United Nations in New York City to talk about assistive technologies being designed by the Hackaday IO community. So we did that in May. And we were on a panel, I'm gonna, this is a really long name, so I'm gonna read it, government name, on the Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, and it was moderated by Leah Martiro Cyan, who is here, I think. She's speaking later today, so. So since the last Supercon, at the end of the last, end of last year, Alpha Ninja, one of our community members, he launched a really popular challenge called the Square Inch Project. So the idea was that you have to build a PCB that is functional and does something interesting, but you only get one square inch to do it. So, Anyone can launch their own challenge on Hackaday.io. You uh, submit an idea to me, and we'll get your challenge onto the site. This is one of my favorite challenges, something I'm, I'm really into. We're designing a default avatar. So this is a challenge out to all of you to help us design a generative avatar that becomes your user profile picture. So there's a few rules. It has to be an 8 by 8 or 16 by 16 matrix. It has to be visually appealing. And there's probably about four or five people who are currently working on that. So it's a good thing you can easily jump on someone else's project if you want to do a collaboration. 
This was one of the first challenges that showed up for super conference tickets because we started to sell out really fast. This, I think four people won tickets and one of them launched, did, couldn't come and launched another contest for two tickets for, this, is, this was the only thing that turned up was solve this image and then four hints came and I think nobody solved it and two people got to get a ticket. And I met one of them in line this morning. So. And so here we are at Supercon 2 and we've got a 1K code challenge coming up and we're building stuff around the site to make things easier for you to meet each other and get project soulmates and collaborators. For me, it's a wake up, kind of start my day, drink coffee, this is where I start my day every day. And I hope to see you in the Hacker Channel, Raspberry Pi Chat, any of the other fun things that we've set up around the site. And I'm pretty proud of all the things that we've accomplished together. Mm-hmm. <laughs>